Okay, well here we are again. <clears throat> this is the finished gimbal. Notice this has now changed. What was there was this piece here, on like that. And as you can see, pretty huge. But um, the dampers did absolutely nothing uh, for the performance of it. So when it's that big, I thought, well, we might as well get rid of the dampers. As long as, again, I can put it back on a plane, which I can, because it's still attached by the four screws there. Um, the first idea was pretty simple. It was just, let's make a flange that uh, it'll um, screw into, like that. But have it mounted straight off. Which seemed absolutely fine because um, that's how you can mount um, the FI gimbal. You can mount it forward facing. The only problem with forward facing is when it's like that, um, is panning side to side, it hits straight away. And it hits there. And not until you get it down here, you can actually pan around. Um, so, not right, alright then. Well, it seemed to be alright with the old mount on. So then I did a 45 degree to uh, to make it the same as what that mount was. So then it would sit at that angle. So at that angle, I thought, yep, yeah, again, we're, we're okay here. Yeah. Um, and then I thought, well, as soon as I put it up, it's going to do the same thing, hit. And then as soon as... Um, you go down, you go down, you'll be fine, but that's that's when it's against the floor all the time. So I thought, no, so I've ended up with this 90 degree one, so it ends up just like it's mounted in the plane. So as I'm walking along normally, I've got as much pan as I want. I can um, tilt up to, well, sort of like to that height there, and it'll still clear. Oops, sorry, getting shot. That height there, and it'll still clear. Which is still me with my arm up in the air, which is never going to happen much. Um, and then tilted down, um, it'll still rotate fully round. But again, because it's because it's lower anyway, and how many times am I going to go against the floor? I'll just lower my arm. So this seems like the be the best way to do it. Basically, what I've worked out after all this is that's why handheld gimbals are two axis and not three, because if it was two axis. You would have that motor there, that motor there, and the camera off it. You would use that straight mount on there, and that would be it. It would be absolutely spot on. So, yeah. So if it was a two-axis gimbal, go with the straight mount. Because it's a three, um, this seems to me like the best choice. So, yeah. Try again. Um, I'll take it out for a test run today. No, I'm actually happy with it. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, put it in uh, head in lock mode. And there we go. So yeah, it's nice and comfortable. It's fairly light. Um, it yeah, it does the job. So yeah, let's see how it goes.